So we, uh, before the snow hit, we got the uh, <laughs> Brahmas off of pasture. And uh, we got them in, in here in the OG coop with the reds and the two guineas, uh, at least for now. Uh, the other chicken coop we're building is is eventually going to be the winter home for the Brahmas, right? Like, they'll hang out there, and then, uh, with the, the turkeys, and then we'll hopefully eventually get the turkey side built. I'm, I'm trying to get, they make the cutest little noise when they're happy. They're so adorable. I just love these chickens. I really do. Hey everybody, welcome back to 7 Anubis. So I've been doing some research and studying up on ways to be able to expand our, our feed to, to make the most out of what we get. Um, and so we are going to start fermenting uh, our feed for our livestock. Um, not only will it help us to uh, stretch the feed a little longer, but it's actually really healthy for all of our animals. Um, it'll have good bacteria in it, um, a lot of nice probiotics, uh, things that'll, that'll help there. And um, it also will help keep them hydrated a little better because the feed is wet, so they'll be getting that that moisture in through the feed um and then uh it's also uh, oh i forgot the last i forgot the last point <laughs> anyway we're gonna do this <laughs> so just taking some of our dry feed and putting it in here and then sean will mix in some water that's really it. That's not like you have to put in yeast or yeah, any kind of thing. It's it's so it's basically it's like it ends up being live cultures, kind of like sourdough, right? So you'll uh, you'll get some of the some of that. It's that kind of a good bacteria, and then in this little bag here, I have the last of the oregano and rosemary that I took out of my herb garden. And oregano and rosemary are really good uh, for the animals too. Uh, it, they both help promote healthy, uh, healthy stomachs and, and digestion and stuff for the birds. So Do that and then we'll go ahead and put another layer of feed on here and then uh, we'll get the the water in here. There we go. The other one now. What? The other one now. Yeah, we can do the other one. Yeah, yeah. two per. Really not sure why I'm even smoothing it all out. That's just silly, but <laughs> so it takes anywhere from three to four days uh, for all of this to ferment properly. Um, we're actually we actually have a couple of uh, big boards plywood boards that we're going to set over the top of these and because you want to keep it covered uh, to help the fermentation along and then it'll also kind of hopefully help uh, keep it a little warmer. The reason we're doing it right here in the shop right now is because it's November and it's going to start freezing out and this will probably help keep it a lot warmer. So we're not feeding, you know, everybody feed sickles. <laughs> yeah, feed sickles. Feed sickles. They suck, yeah. That that's a word. Feed sickle. Yeah, trademark feed that. Yeah, I'm gonna trademark that, yeah. 
Okay. The tubs we're using are these Rubbermaid, uh, real hard plastic. I guess they're probably about Hi, mister. A, oh, I don't know, about a foot deep or so. They're uh, not real deep, so this also should help in uh, getting the uh, yeah. So a full, fermentation. Yeah, going. so two full buckets fills this up about halfway, and then I need to it. The water has to kind of be covering the top, but then that gives it another you know six inches or so to expand. Um, and not, you know, go flowing out of the bucket. Okay, here we go. Ah! Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. So the water should be covering uh, the feed by about an inch or so. Um, like in between these two, so I get, I'll go back and forth because I'll put some water in here and then I'll come back over here to this other side because when you're filling it up with water, it'll, it'll go ahead and start absorbing it a little bit. And you want to kind of make sure there's no little air pockets. So once you have your water in here and your herbs, um, you can add all kinds of different uh, things. You can put cinnamon in here, uh, any, anything to kind of flavor it up. Um, some people have said that we're just pre-seasoning our chickens. I don't know. But uh, maybe yeah. a little molasses, maybe for yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, but uh, then you have to stir it three times a day. And I'm not doing it by <laughs> hand. Me, I'm, we got a paint paddle, a paint stirrer uh, for the drill. And I'm going to use this to uh, kind of start mixing this up here. I, I'm trying really hard not to. Hold it up and down. what it's going to do. There you go. Okay, so another thing we're going to do today is, uh, get in the shop here this uh, fermented food it's fermenting but it's unfortunately also getting a little bit of mold on it because uh, it's I, I think it's just not quite warm enough in this spot in the shop I think what we're gonna have to do is to uh, whoop, whoop, there it goes <laughs> I think what we're gonna have to do is to uh, put this in the processing room over here where we process the birds and then um, put a little space heater in there and I think that'll that'll probably help but yeah we totally need to get this used up today uh, so we're gonna feed all of the animals uh, uh, with the the wet fermented food today and uh, then uh, we'll probably have some more video later uh, with a little more detail about how I'm, I'm gonna change this up here so uh, Let's uh, let's get going with the. Uh, we're gonna load this all into buckets and put them into the back of the UTD and uh, take it around and uh, get the animals fed. Bless you, Odin. Odin doggy. Oh, there's Freya. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. That's a beautiful Freya girl. Ooh, we I tell you what, this stuff stinks. <laughs> it smells, but you know what? It's. We're, we're figuring out it, it's only going to take half the amount of feed. All right. Lid 
off there. Oh yeah, this looks good. It's actually staying pretty, I mean, it's cold. Oh yeah. So uh, I've never like uh, brewed beer. Um, it's kind of the same thing, right? So um, this is like the same thing as like the spent greens from a uh, uh, microbrewery uh, making beer. Um, and it, it should have kind of like a nice sour mash smell to it, and it does. It has this, this nice little film here, see? So that means that it is fermented. We'll, we'll see if we can get the sound. So like, do you see and, and hear all those nifty little bubbles? That means this is fermented, so this is perfect to feed the animals with. So tomorrow we will be, uh, we will start feeding the animals with us. So uh, between us fermenting our own feed and then uh, we are hopefully going to be working with a local brewery in Fort Morgan. Um, it's a brand new brewery that's going to be opening up. Uh, and we are going to be trading some pork for their spent grains after they brew their beer. So right away, we're going to start feeding this to the animals. Uh, it's going to be great. I, I'm really hoping this helps stretch uh, between the, the fermented feed and the alfalfa. Uh, that we purchased for the winter. I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to help stretch our feed bill throughout the winter. Uh, so, yeah, um, we will uh, check back with, um, you know, either a full video or just, just a little bit of video uh, with how uh, doing the, the, the fermenting of the feed is going. So, uh, thanks for coming in, coming to the farm and seeing what we're doing. Uh, you guys have a great weekend.